work was, uh, that's how I met Marty. I used to call them, and it was doing deconstructions, which was part of the Campbell's life cycle. He talked a lot about the life cycle, Joseph Campbell. If you don't know, he was my mentor, uh, not in person, but in uh, yeah. life instruction. So I was doing this work about the life cycle. I did work, work about birth, and then, you know, after birth, we're, we're all going through deconstruction as we talk. <laughs> you, know, you too, by the way. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're rusting as we breathe. No one escapes, no one escapes this process. Once so, you're born, you're dying. Yes, you're starting on well, that process. Anyhow, I, um, I, I, so I was doing work about deconstruction, and I started thinking of deconstructions of in the front Philadelphia. Lots of things were being torn down, and then eventually they would get rebuilt. Without any planning, because Philadelphia is mm. totally disorganized. If there is a city that's disorganized, it's the Prima One. But anyhow, the sites, when they were being torn down, were intriguing. They were sort of like archaeological sites. And I would go to these sites and photograph them and get incredible stuff. And I would always decide, uh, I would try to find some bit of organization from this chaos. Spreza. You know. There you go. It means organized chaos. Organized chaos. Spreads I love that. I didn't know that word. Anyhow, so I started working along those lines, and I would go to some really old, many hard hat sites. I'd have to sneak in. Once I snuck into this church that had burned down. <laughs> no. What? I think you, you I think you are somewhere. Yeah, connected. kindred spirits. Oh, yeah. sure. Siblings from another mother. <laughs> so, anyhow, the, the, this one experience I had, I, I sneak into this church, the Siemens Church at 16th and Spruce in Philly, it burned down. And I walk in, I said, there's two guys from the Philadelphia Art Museum, and they're scavenging around. The stuff was great in there. They fell through the floor, <laughs> and so I photographed that one at a distance, because yeah. it seemed like the better part of valor yeah. <laughs> or to uh, take the distance. But anyhow, I started getting some interesting things, and then it started me, and just go, wherever we went, we're photog literally photographs stuff, but and it's so great having digital, so you don't have to print every one of these things. God bless it. So anyhow, I, I would do that, and then I'd come back and look at stuff, and I just grabbed a couple of hunks of photographs that I saw that might uh, still interest me a little bit. But we also, we teach a workshop with a psycho psychologist called Creating from Passion. And it's very important, at least to me, and I hope it will be to others, that you work with stuff that you're passionate about. Because that will come, that will help the work to be passionate. Uh, this is a very lively group, and I think there's a lot of passion. No problem, passion. Group, so I'm not <laughs> too concerned that that's a problem for you guys to develop. But anyhow, I don't just grab any old thing that's lying around. I like it to mean something to me and to be important. So anyhow, <coughs> I grab these two things. I'm just going to do the like beginning of painting and just show you the essence of what what it is I want to do. I have some of these collaged paintings. This is paintings, the collage that uh, Audrey was asking, Shirley, to give her a quick synopsis. I want the imagery, and it can be literal imagery. I don't have any problem with being literal. I, I did a number of things where there's literal I imagery, but they were still abstract pieces, really. And I want those things to be organically connected to everything. By that I mean it's not like I say, oh, there's like a picture stuck on there and so forth. It's growing out of and into what's happening. So that is my goal, that it just feel like it feels like it, instead of my drawing it or painting it, but it's it just uh, it's, it was in there for, photographically. The thing I love the best, I had a show a few years ago in Philly, and my dealer and this other artist come and said, we don't know how you did this painting. It's, uh, it doesn't seem like you would have taken the trouble to do this real detailed stuff. I said, oh, that's a collage. They couldn't, and, and these guys, they've been around, and they couldn't read it. 
that was the happiest, yeah. the happiest yeah. moment that you have, is that it felt like it was really just part of it. Mm -hmm. They couldn't, and it didn't feel different. And I'll explain how I think that helped, how that can happen. Mm -hmm.